while your girlfriend... Oh, which brings me to my <laughs> pet peeve. I didn't get to talk about my pet peeve. What the heck? Questions, Some juicy, yeah, juicy, like, juicy not like questions. Yeah, like basic bitch questions, you know? Okay, well, I appreciate you guys sending in these questions. This is the first time we've ever done a tipsy on my channel. So this is just gonna be something that I'm gonna read you guys' questions. How'd you guys meet? We talked about that. So we're not gonna try to double up. If you guys wanna watch the old Q&A, we might touch on them real quick. We met at a Gymshark event in Sydney in 2019. Start of January yeah. 2019, like the very start of that year. Best feature on one another. Let me guess what you're gonna say about me. My best feature. Hold on. Yeah, okay, go. Physical feature. We're gonna go physical, physical feature. Physical feature. I think you would say my best physical feature is my hands or my back. No. Oh, okay. I do like your hands. Yeah? And your back's pretty hot, but... I just like your just, just legs. <laughs> oh, I like see. your legs. You like my legs. I love your legs. Uh, I just... Babe, I can just, I can see the lust in your eyes saying that, so I'm gonna be a kid. <laughs> Oh, sorry. This is like, mom and dad, stop. Um, okay. Bob's is down there looking at us. Okay, like. what physical feature? Do For you me? Yep. I mean, I don't know. Okay, go. My back. No. My bum. No! The fact that you can spread your toes out really <laughs> wide. <laughs> show them, show them. Give the people what they want. Wait. If you're into foot fetishes, eat your heart out. <laughs> You know when you go get your toes done and a pedicure and the lady puts like yeah, the wedges, yeah. I just spread them and she's like, oh yeah, nice. <laughs> Wait, is it always an Asian person? Is that what you're saying? Definitely. Or okay. Every nail salon I go this to. This might not Asians. be super politically correct. I'm sorry if you guys I don't mean, like you it. Might it's not just be how it is. Um, summer home in Oz in the future. Definitely. Where have we talked about getting a house? Sunshine Coast. Or, or Kingscliff. Yeah. They've been the two most spoken about places, which is literally an hour north or an hour south of where I live of currently. Brisbane. And it's just beautiful year round. I would say weather is almost Hawaii-esque in like Sunshine Coast. So it's just beautiful year round. So I would love to do like middle of January. We want to do a summer home until we move there eventually. Oh yeah, you gotta tell yeah, people. Yeah, because I'm holding I'm you to it. here in the summer. Yeah, you are. I know, I know. Mark it down. We're not living in Mark it down. Forever. Maybe we'll just go back and forth. Yeah. Okay, how can we get your gym Shark collection. Sadly, it's gone. It's out. Moment of silence for that. Moment of silence over. Congratulations, Thanks. babe. Maybe Jim Shark will restock it in the future. I can't say anything about that. I really don't know. Have you ever smoked weed? This is actually a great question. Um, when I first came over here, uh -huh. Steve had this vape. Vape. Yeah. I've done it probably less than 10 times. Okay. Let's make that very, very clear. I didn't try it until it was legal in Las Vegas, Nevada. And then I tried it a couple times. So the very first time I tried it, I was at a family event. Oh, my parents are probably watching this. I was at a family event. I was 31, 32 years old in Oregon. We were all there and I had some edibles and it was the worst experience of my life. I thought I needed to go to the hospital. I thought I was dying. I was paranoid. One of my nieces was lost for a second and I just went and sat in the car and I just remember thinking I was going to die. So I asked my sister, in law who's a nurse if I, I thought I need to go to the hospital and she just busted up laughing. I have a lot of people I know, a lot of friends that smoke weed. You've it's never honestly, tried it. It's honestly who you surround yourself with. That's what I like about Morgan. It's true. She I looks, haven't done any She drugs. looks like she does lots of drugs with you. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm high on life as it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And I mean. then alcohol is like the worst thing that that's, I can. This is such a real on. Q and A already. Oh my gosh! Skittles or Sour Patch Kids? Uh, Skittles, but they have to be the sour Skittles. Basic Skittles are disgusting. Sour Skittles? I've never even had those. Yeah, they're in a green packet. They're the tits. They have all. They honestly, are so the tits, good. Night. First vacation you go on post Corona. One, two, three. Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> Why'd you wait for me? Because I didn't think you were going to say Are we it. actually going to go before I return home? It depends though. on when you return home. So Morgan's here. She was actually supposed to go home. Her flight like got canceled. Two days ago. Yeah. Three days ago. Yeah. Her flight got canceled yeah. um, to book one because all the flights were canceled. It was like $20,000 for yeah, like a 40 hour flight. Sorry. Qantas canceled all of their flights and the only company flying was Virgin and Delta and they have like one flight a day and the flight for one way economy was 10 grand and it was like 40 plus hours of flying. It was <laughs> Get out of town. You can get a return business flight from Australia to America for eight grand. So you Cheaper. know what we said? We said, get the corn on my face. <laughs> get the corn on my face. That's exactly what we said. I ain't going home anytime soon. And if Trump has a problem with that, 
You're fired. Just kidding, Mr. Trump, I didn't say You're that. fired. Um, did you enjoy doing The Biggest Loser? You know what, I'm actually gonna do a video on this, so I'm not gonna talk about that right now. The finale has aired, you guys can go watch it. I don't wanna talk about it. Next one, Morgan. Megan, we'll consider that a type bear. My girlfriend's name's Morgan. Definitely. <laughs> Never even dated a Megan. Morgan. M O R. Morgan. Um. G -A when did you start working out? I never, I never didn't work out. It was always for gymnastics. Basically. Yeah, I just did sports my whole life and then went straight into like body weight gym stuff. I've it's, always like switched up between what sort of activities I do, but I've always done. You've always been out. a weapon. Oh, thank you. Steve, what are your hair products? And how do you get that lettuce looking so luscious? Lettuce? Is that, is that? I don't know. I don't know if he meant to say limbo? lettuce. And guys, again, I'm sorry if my how cleavage, many buttons, yeah, my how many cleavage buttons is you down? distracting you guys. What do I do with my hair? Today's a good hair day, I'd say. I don't always have a good hair day. Uh, <laughs> I haven't had a haircut in a while. Uh, I'm just yeah. thinking about all the minutes you put into doing your hair. I don't. You put more minutes into doing your hair than I do. Mm, that he might told be. me today, as we were about to film, he goes, you gonna do something about your hair? Are you gonna change? I said, I'll change a little do you bit. You think, you really think I spend no, more time on my hair than you? Yeah. We can agree to disagree on that. I spend less than five to 10 minutes on my hair every day. I didn't do anything to my hair. That's really misleading then. Well, I just choose not to do anything if to If we my were hair. going out, you would definitely spend more than Five Definitely. I'd straighten it and make it look right. Good. But okay, but on days that I wear a headband or a hat, I don't do anything to it either. That's true. This girl's trying to throw me under the bus. Damn, you got a bit snappy there. Well, I, we can disagree to disagree on that. We've learned to, we have to be able to disagree to disagree. We don't have to agree on it. We agree to disagree on m many things. For Morgan. What are some of the biggest differences living in America versus Australia? The people, the food, the accessibility, how many people are like on demand. So if you don't get a service that's done right, people complain straight away and people are so not afraid. Yeah. There's so many things that like a little thing will happen at a cash register and someone will go off about it when in Australia, no one really gives a shit. They just walk away and go like, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah. But in America, it's like, I need tight. that service done perfectly. She didn't do this. She didn't do that. I'm going to go complain to the manager. Like everyone's just on edge in America. Um, the food, there's a lot of food. very accessible junk food. Yeah. Like that so you I love. Just, yeah, that I love. Like I just can't get enough of it. Which one's your favorite right now? Chick-fil-A and Swig. It's not just Chick-fil-A, because Chick-fil-A is fairly healthy, or you can do Chick-fil-A healthy. The amount of Chick-fil-A sauce this girl uses. I dump. My chick fil sauce on my burger. Swimming in it. Literally, it drips. It dripped in the car today. It did. My burger. And she licked dripping. it off the seat. I did. I so bogan. <laughs> Veronica Vaughn. So hot. Want to touch your honey? Oh! How hard is it when you guys are long distance for two months at a time and why the most? How What's hard? the most, I'm guessing. Yeah. The longest time we've been apart when we've been dating is probably like two months or a little over two months. And I think that it's hard to be apart, but we both are so focused Busy. on what we're doing and yeah, yeah, doing things that it's hard, but at the same time, like it's not the hardest thing in the world. We, we just talk. chat a lot. Yeah, Morgan's really good about FaceTiming. Like if we were just a text couple, I think it'd be hard, but we FaceTime quite a bit. We do, we, we FaceTime more than we text. For yeah. sure. Which is nice. We, in that time when we're away for like two and a bit months, towards the end there, we were FaceTiming like three, four times a day. Yeah. Which is good. Because we do something and then we just call each other and be like, hey, so like, yeah. Before FaceTime, when you text someone, you don't get that one on one human yeah, interaction. And you don't Even get the emotion calls. or anything that comes through. Then when you see them, you feel kind of awkward. But I've noticed that, like, since FaceTiming a bunch, there's never any awkwardness. Is there anything you can't stand about each other? Plenty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them. Steve Tell them. chews like a cow. I've already said this in another Q&A but he literally he was eating grapes this morning grapes are loud and then you were eating pasta last night two very loud things porridge and oats okay. you can easily devour those with a closed mouth my biggest... and then the oh, second thing, thing is <laughs> Stephen is unintentionally condescending we all know that <laughs> Everyone in YouTube knows that. I come from a big he, family. Exactly. And he the feels way like he we, needs to get his point out, like be top dog, but yeah. really it's only the, one of two, not one of seven. Yeah, so I have seven kids in my family and the older brothers would make fun of the younger brothers and, and our he younger was just brothers and sisters and I was in the middle. So <laughs> I, I took a lot of crap and I gave a lot of crap. So when I do that back and forth, it's just us cook's way of saying, we love you and you're part of the family. So That's if cute. you guys are saying like, oh, it's condescending, bitch, you don't know me. Um, oh, this is a good question. If you two could live somewhere not in Australia or Utah, where would it be and why? 
Hawaii. Yeah, we've already agreed Hawaii. I've never even been to Hawaii, but just from what Steve's told me, it's similar to Australia, but it's yeah. also got good parts of like America. I, so. I would definitely and say And it's nice Hawaii. and close to his family, and then, and then I guess I, it's got the similar Yeah, it does. Feel. It, it's very. It, it does and it doesn't, but yeah, I think it's just island life. It's nice. Yeah. Um, I could also live in London during good weather. I think London feels like it's the center of the earth, but there's also that like you can get yeah, away to you said the, there's like a couple of weeks of good weather a year. I know, that's a tough part about London. Maybe Vancouver, British Columbia. The last one I would say would be... I could live in New Zealand. Oh yeah. Yeah, bro. I could definitely yeah, bro. live Go in New Go down with Zealand. the Kiwis, bro. Hey, bro. Horrible. Yeah, it was bad. Sorry, all my Maori brothers. Māori. 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 Um, <laughs> Why did I say Māori? <laughs> best budget quarantine date ideas. Get some takeout, go sit in the back of your truck, and watch the City of the Lights while your girlfriend... Oh, which brings me to my <laughs> pet peeve. I didn't get to talk about my pet peeve. What the heck? Morgan eats you, huh, so, you were so fast on and stuffs food in her cheeks. <laughs> literally. We've already spoken Literally. Now, I might be a loud eater. She just holds food like this. <sighs> takes half of the pasta down and one bite and just like like a starving kid just stuffs it in her mouth and I'm like, first off, I hope you're enjoying that. Secondly, there's gonna be enough. Like we can go back and get more. I think <laughs> I think Morgan has I got this underfed fear. as yeah. a child, okay? This fear I actually that, did it. My family I'm a family of like me and my brother. Yeah, treated very I well. got yeah, I got spoiled. So, so you eat, I don't know where that comes and from. And a lot of the times you take the last bite and that's that's a hard thing for me. It's true. <laughs> I think we're both very food territorial. I'm a bit selfish. <laughs> yeah, you are a bit selfish. Yeah. But when you're a mom, that's going to be the biggest struggle. Yeah, I know. My kids are going to want food and I'll be like, no. No, I'm just, I'm just saying in, in general, like your kids are going to need you and you're going to be like, ah, hold My on. kids. Our kids. Yeah, our kids. I like that, babe. I like that. <laughs> Hayden from the gym asks, who's your favorite front desk employee? Let's be honest. <laughs> Hayden. I do love Hayden. Hayden, man, Hayden's got to give a good egg. shout out. Yeah. Good shout out for Hayden. Known the guy for a while. Always been super positive. We love so Hayden. So lovely, yeah. Danger is his middle name. Mm. Ooh, this is a good one. What advice would you give someone who just went through a bad breakup? I'm going to let you handle this and then I'll go. Why? I've never really had bad breakups. You're the master <laughs> of relationships. I am 35 and I've been... <laughs> Through a breakup or two. No, you guys didn't know. Well, let me tell you about them. Just kidding, I'm not. No, I would say, yeah, honestly, I've been through a divorce, so I would say just give it time. Nothing heals things like time. Stay busy. Keep your mind off of things. If you are somebody that broke up with that person and you're worried you might go back to them, write down the bad things because it's easy once you're out of a relationship just to remember the good times when actuality you really wouldn't have left had there been More good you know times not not yeah had there not been some serious issues. And then think about the things you need to do. Don't think about like what you want in a partner, but think about the type of person you want to be for other people. That way, when Mister or Mrs. Mrs. Wright comes into the picture, you're ready to be in a healthy, non-toxic relationship. Perfect. I just blacked out. <laughs> We're trying we to do this. We both can't do it, so we just, we just sit there uh, flicking out. Do you know who I bet could do that? Hayden. I bet yeah. Hayden could do that. I'm sure. Is there anything else you want to touch on? Though? Not really. Okay. I just, I'm a very, like I said before, I'm a bit of a selfish person. So if I ever do go through something like that, I just focus on myself and just do me. And it ends up making me, I end up for some reason being, or I have in the past, being happier by myself than I have been in relationships mm. until now okay we'll get through these ones quick okay i love this one is she good in sex that's how it reads is she good in sex <sighs> nice question we don't Excuse just, you. We just don't discuss these things. This is you not, can at least say yes or no. Babe, we don't have. We're not discussing that. That is not something anyone Her ever husband. will know. Okay. Husband. Can you do a 10 second handstand yet, Steve? No. I think six is probably my max. Yeah, six is his max. Should I do so one far? right now? Definitely not. You've what? had too many wines. I would kill it right now. You would not kill it right now. I'd You'd be so loosey goosey. I not guarantee you, I get at least three you get, seconds. Okay, you get one chance. One chance. Hold this. Here, hold my beer. <laughs> hold my beer. At sure. least three this seconds. This shirt's a little tight. Don't trip before you get up. That was three seconds. No, it was not. Okay, try it again. One, two, three. You can't walk in The problem is, yeah, you can't walk. You have to just go straight. Oh, okay. That one was a drunk. You need it. That, that, that was it. That was a that was a tipsy handstand. 
my hand didn't go where I wanted it to. It's got some slipping hands. All right, thank you guys for humoring me there. People wanted to know where my orange hoodie was from today. And for the life of me, I can't remember. I just know I got it in London. London's got the best shopping in the world, I think, that in New York. Australia's actually a great shopping too. Mm. Who said I love you first? Have we ever told people this? I don't know. Because I'm a savage. This is actually a really funny story. Honestly, I wouldn't Actually, have... it's not really funny, but it's... It's really cute. It's a... Yeah, it is cute. So we just got back from Wait, Vegas. Wait, are you going to oh. tell it properly? Because sometimes you skip out little, a few little details. Well, then you can tell it. No, I'm you like, can no, no, I, I tell it and I'll jam in. Hey, go. Okay. Oh. So we had just gotten back from The Biggest Loser and this house while I was gone was up on the market and it ended up selling. I got back into town. I'd already moved all of my stuff into a rental, went in to sign the closing documents and basically the realtor said it fell through on the day I was supposed to sign. Nightmare of a situation. I ended up losing a bunch of money. It was just a crazy experience, like super crappy, like lost $10,000 in the process because I had to pay to get out of my rental, had to pay to move back things in here. Hadn't we done it twice? Yeah, it was just a nightmare. It was just ridiculous. So Everything anyhow, that could have gone wrong went wrong yeah. in that situation. And and so we're walking out of the realtor telling me this and I'm gonna forget what happened. But maybe we had M&M's. We had M&M's. And Steve wanted one and I had one. And I put it in my mouth and as I put it in my mouth it fell on the ground. Me being me, picked it out from the ground, put it in my mouth. Yum. Mm -hmm. Next one. Got the next one out. It fell on the ground. Went to pick it up. Put it in my mouth. It Were fell again. Were you drunk here? No, this is just... I know. <laughs> I know. Fell on the ground again. So my second M&M fell on the ground twice. And he was like, don't you dare eat that. And then we both laughed because I was fully about to go eat that. He's like, you are such a grump. It's a and sign. we just laughed. Yeah. yeah. I said, we were it's like, a it's a sign. Can, yeah. It's a sign. And we laughed so hard about Harder it. Harder like, than we so should have. Yeah. Just walking out down the street, dropping yeah. M&Ms, watching this little grom of an Australian gal eat it. And I was just like, he oh just my gosh, I love her. Like I, lo like, I was just like, you know, I love you. I, I do. Because anyone that I can be with, that we go through this crappy situation, but yet I'm happy still because you're dropping M&Ms and putting them in your mouth like a little kid. And I'm like, you know what? I like it. I rock with it. Something I would do. So I said, I love you. And then she's like, oh, that's nice. I was like, do you really? Yeah, I think that's what she said. Do you really mean that? <laughs> do you really mean that? Because I don't want you to say it if you don't mean it. That was a big it. thing for her. She really didn't want me to say it if I didn't yeah. mean it. So. I would rather go through a long ass relationship, like a long ass time without someone telling me they love them. Yeah. And how long into the, the relationship was that? Probably four or five months? Yeah. Yeah, four or five months. So it wasn't like super quick. But. Yeah. Well, and guys. And I ended up telling him I loved him too. Yeah, I was like, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, como? Como, como? Esta? Who wins in a foot race? Definitely me. Um, hey, let's, yeah. let's speed through them. Go. What are your favorite brands of clothing you wear besides Gymshark? Uh, Subi. Subi. One teaspoon. <gasps> <laughs> Yo, uh, one teaspoon, I would say, uh, People versus Theory, people, Rag and Bone, People versus most of those are Australian brands, but you can get a lot of I like Tony Diego for shoes. What place or places are you two most excited for to travel to in the future? Okay, you list your top three, oh, and I'll try to name your top three. Okay. Ah, I love these games. Okay, ah. 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 You've, already, you've already been to Japan. Yep. But you want to go back. Yeah, I do. But it's not on my list right now. Maldives. Yes. Boom. That's on both of our top three. But it's not I my top. Been. I know. Yeah. It's not okay. your top. Um, your top. Come on, babe. You got this. Your top. I talk about it all the time. South Africa. Yeah. Yes. Woo! On a safari. Woo! What do they get? These two lovers are getting a free trip to South Africa. We actually are because the place <laughs> Yeah, we have. We've got a hook up for South Africa. I think it's like Zimbabwe or something. But anyhow, something somewhere in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to pick you up. <laughs> um, yeah, that, so South two? Africa, Maldives, and... Oh, this one's going to be tough. Well, we've talked about a couple of different places, but I don't know if yeah, my I don't, places are Yeah, I don't places. know if you really know this one specific. Iceland. No, it was Philippines. Oh, I did not know that. I wouldn't have known that. Okay, where are my top three? Where's my number one? Peru. Peru. Machu Picchu, baby. Number two. Maldives. You're number two. Yeah. Right, Maldives. Number three, Japan for me. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because I've you never been. been. To round off our top five, Iceland's. Yeah, top definitely. Six. I want to, yeah. We both want to go there. Yeah, we want to do a Europe trip. Yeah, just all over Europe. Yeah, which hopefully we'll do. When June. Corona is yeah, over. Yeah, when Corona's done, because we we're meant to be over there. And we can kind of probably talk about that to wind down the video. Crazy, crazy time right now. I don't know what to believe in the news and whatnot. You know, yeah. I think there's now 15 to 20,000 people dead in the US, which is awful. You know, it's like how much do you it's like 73,000 people internationally that have died and that's and that's crazy when we look at the flu the flu is going to be way more yeah. than that so this is kind of something that happens in life it's it's one of those things that I think inevitably we have issues like this I think it has been handled fairly well like the only difficult thing I think we've talked about is we don't know where we're at really in Utah how much to social distance like grocery stores are still open some people act like it's not a big deal Utah is so different to like the rest of there's America not a lot of cases at the moment here. because they're 
there is literally like a thousand cases. Well, I would say. And I think there's been like three deaths. Rural. Out of the whole of Utah, which is majority Salt Lake City. Rural areas. Idaho, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, you know, mm. Nebraska, Kansas. Yeah. Places that just don't have a ton of population. So the cities aren't really taking the same precautions. They don't right. have the same shutdown, lockdown, blah, blah, blah. Red. Everything's still open, but it's for takeaway or drive. Right. Drive through or whatever. I think there's that fine line of like being careful and then living out of fear and not doing anything. I definitely think you need to do your best. Like I'm not going anywhere near my grandparents right now. We still are, yeah, are keeping still... up at the gym. I still have my videographer, but we're not going to like parties. We're not going to restaurants, obviously. The restaurants here, you can go through drive throughs or get takeout, but you can't go in and sit. So it's about doing your part, not being extravagant with traveling. Like we love to travel. We were supposed to go so many different places. Obviously canceled all that even before the travel bans had started. So doing your part, but also not just being so crazy fearful, washing your hands, taking those precautions. At the end of the day, it's really gonna depend upon where you live, how many cases are there, and, and just trying to do your best not to be around people that are gonna be really susceptible to it. Things I have are... a question to ask you. Oh, one last, bonus question. Last time I asked you, the last Q&A, yep. if I was the one, yep. am I the one? Babe's the one. Babe, why are you here? Put me on the spot again. Because I already know I'm the one. I so know. you need to tell YouTube I'm the one. I was just trying to think how to say one in Spanish. Uno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You are uno. Numero uno. 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 <laughs> uh, we do get along really well, if you couldn't tell. Thanks for turning What do you mean we do get along really well? We get along. I think some people might watch this and be like, all I know is if I can hang out in quarantine with you as much as we have in self-isolation distancing and not have gotten in a major fight already, pretty good. Yeah, it's true. We haven't fought at all. Not major. We had little tiffs. About what? Um, brushing Hobbs's teeth too hard, or... Yeah, but they're not fights. No, not fights. Did it's... we have any fights? They're like nigglies. I know. Did, That's we, have like any... Steve's Did we have any fights? With what was closed. the fight? What was the fight we had? Where you were going to be like, you told me that all night, I wanted to be mad at you, but I can't. What was that? Oh, yeah. That was probably... Oh, handstand stuff, was it? Yes. Was it? It was. It was handstands. Sometimes she gets a, her Russian coach on when she's teaching me handstands. He was getting cranky because I didn't encourage him enough in his handstands. I was just like, hey, we're here to have fun, okay, coach? Like, hey, winning's great, but if you're not getting better and having fun, you're not gonna stick with it. That is not a legacy you live by ever. We don't just go to the pickleball you just court do your and best. have fun. You do your best. I will always be about that with my kids because I am someone who is competitive to a fault. And if I don't keep things in check and just remember to do your best, then that's all you can do. Even if you win sometimes, if you didn't do your best and you win, you still shouldn't be happy with that. But if you do your best- You and still you shouldn't win, be happy with that. Yeah, what I'm saying is if, if you don't yeah, do know, your best and win, you can't be happy with that. You can be happy with it a little bit. No, you, just... you did not do your best. That is the only measure of success is did you but do your best? But if you're there to have fun, you don't need to be putting 100% in. You don't need to be doing your best all the time. You can just relax and have fun with something. But that would be doing your best, wouldn't it? <laughs> On that note, <laughs> we're gonna just agree to disagree. <laughs> um, cheers, babe. This is a good Q&A. Love you. Uh, maybe a, a date in a month, we'll do it again. You just cash that wine. Go on, you have to skull it. You have to skull Babe, it. Listen. Skull it. 35 year old men in cheetah print shirts do not skull wine, okay? Yeah. You see it. Go, there. go. Mmm! Cause I'm a savage. Ah.